What up, Dodgers Nation? D-Mag here. We're at CPK as a part of the annual Dodgers Love LA Community Tour. Dave Roberts and Eric Karras are making pizzas. I caught up with Doc and EK. We talked about the Dodgers this season, the youth movement, and so much more. Let's go check it out. Maybe we'll get fancy and flip it up in the air. <laughs> if I hit one, two, three. Woo! I'm loving this pizza here. Okay. I'm into this. I'm in. Yeah, right. Dave, what's more difficult, putting together an opening day lineup or making a pizza? Uh, you know what? Putting together an opening day lineup. You know what? It, it's uh, The pizza was fun. Being here at CPK was great. I got to uh, spend time with my good buddy, Eric Karos. The people here are great. Uh, as far as lineup, I, I think the thing is uh, we've got so many talented players, obviously. It's nice to pencil in Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman and Max Muncy, uh, Will Smith. But we got some young players coming now, but it's going to be fun. Yeah, and I want to ask you, I mean, the youth movement talked this offseason going into this year. Lots of young guys could have bigger roles. How much does that excite you and re-energize you as a manager? You know what, it, it's exciting. I, I think that to lose guys like Justin Turner, who was a stalwart, who was an extension of me and the coaches, uh, to lose a veteran player like uh, Trey Turner, obviously we're going to miss those guys. But... You know, Gavin Lux is a young player. He's been around, so he's just going to get more opportunity at shortstop, which is great. Uh, Miguel Vargas has been in the system. He is a Dodger farmhand. Uh, baseball is in his blood. I can't wait to see him get an opportunity to perform. Uh, you know, we saw a little bit of uh, James Outman last year. Um, outside of the great hair that he's got, he's got a great swing, can really dominate center field. So he's going to get an opportunity. Um, Dustin May. He's a guy that Dodger fans have heard for the last four or five years. He's still a young player, but he's seasoned and he's healthy. So I think that the youth movement might be a little aggressive. Uh, we still got our anchors with Mookie, Freddie, uh, Max Muncie, Will Smith, Clayton Kershaw, Julio Urias. So uh, the goal is still to win a championship. All right, last one here. This one might be a little controversial, but we're at CBK, so you know I have to ask you, does pineapple belong on pizza? <laughs> So, uh, you know what, I'm gonna say yes. I, I think that the way that things have gone in our world, it's kind of what you like. And so there's no hard and fast rules. So uh, I've spent three and a half years in Hawaii, so I'm a little biased to the Hawaiian pizza. So I got a little pepperoni, sausage, arugula, but I added a little bit of sweetness with that pineapple. Uh, what's up, EK? All good, I'm uh, out here making pizzas at CPK. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what have you enjoyed in your post-playing career more, being a broadcaster or being a renowned pizza chef? Well, right now, at this moment, it's the renowned pizza chef because I'm about ready to kill some pizza right now. No, all good. Uh, post-career has been great. A little, uh, little broadcast, a little Dodger stuff, too, uh, last year. Get to do it again this year. Can't wait. Yeah, this one's going to be a little controversial, but you don't have to ask you this anyway. Does pineapple belong on pizza? 100%. And I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> this is the one I made... And there's pineapple on it. I love it. That's the EK special. Now, talk a little bit about Dodgers. Of course, the Padres, they made so many big moves this offseason. The Dodgers, though, they're the team that won 111 games. Do you still think the Dodgers are the team to beat in the NL West? The Dodgers are going to be competitive. And I, look, at they are the champion until somebody else dethrones them, right? And, yes, there's been a lot of changes, but that just comes with time, right? It's been going on for years and years. And I think we're going to be excited as fans to see uh, some of the new guys and uh, we'll see what the season has in store. Yeah, and you kicked off that Rookie of the Year streak. You go Karos, you go Piazza, Nomo, Mondesi, Hollinsworth, that whole gang there. You got the youth movement this year. What are your thoughts on just having these new Dodgers, these young Dodgers that have a bigger role for this team this season? Well, it's something that, look, you're sad to see guys go. And, and you know, we all become attached to certain players. But that also, when they do leave, then you have an opportunity to see some of the new guys. And that's what happened. You look, I remember a few years ago when we all fell in love with Seeger and Bellinger. And, you know, now you know, we've got Will Smith. We've got Gavin Lux. We've got some new guys coming up this year, Vargas. And 
it'll be something that, again, while the transition sometimes is tough as a fan, it always turns out great. Yeah, and what do you think the biggest key for the Dodgers to have a successful season this year is? I, I mean, again, at the end of the day, the pitching's got to be healthy, right? And, and that's something that, you know, we've got some depth, we've got a lot of young arms, and, uh, you know, if they can develop and, and pitch like everybody hopes, uh, I think it's going to be a great year. What was the toughest pitch you faced in your big league days? Toughest pitcher? Well, I mean, Randy Johnson was intimidating. Maddox used to give me a lot of trouble. But if there was one guy that I faced that I completely overmatched was a guy named Roberto Hernandez. He was a closer for the White Sox, got traded to the Giants. You wouldn't remember him, but I do. And what was your favorite moment as a Dodger? I think the one that was still that I, I will always remember was Tommy Lasorda pinched running me my very first appearance in the big leagues. And it was just because it's my first step on a big league field. I had made it to the Dodgers, and just something I'd never seen thought that would ever come to fruition. Awesome. Thank you so much, EK. Join us here at Dodgers Nation. You're the man. But another great event put on the Dodgers and Bank of America for the annual Dodgers Love LA Community Tour. Everyone had a great time. The pizza was delicious. And I want to know from you, does pineapple belong on pizza? Let me know down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.